This is the 35th annual Manhattan Beach Holiday Fireworks Show. Yeah, my dad uh, started this back in 1989, so I think my first show was when I was eight years old and have been coming ever since. Uh, now married with three kids, we, they come every year. It's become just a tradition for the community and it's just wonderful to see. Why is the fireworks such a big deal here in Manhattan Beach, do you think? I, I think it's a special time of year for everyone to come out and just have a great time on every second Sunday. For the last 35 years, you can come out here and enjoy a really great fireworks show. Why was it a big deal for your dad? He wanted to bring something together for the community, and he he actually loved fireworks. And so, even though unfortunately we lost him earlier this year, this is a very special year for our family because this is our our family's first time running the event. Um, we learned a lot from him, but we try to keep it a community event, um, fun, uplifting, and where everyone can just have fun times. And that was really his heart about it was when he moved here from Texas back in 1984, he noticed that the community didn't have much going on during the holiday time. And he said, what better way to bring the community together than, hey, can we launch fireworks off of the pier? All counted here with all the different sizes. There's a couple thousand here. Now, and what different varieties? Oh, there's all different colors. There's different effects. Some will just be pretty colors in the sky, different patterns. Some will make, some will whistle real loud. Some will just make really loud booms. Some will be like little spinner effects. Some will make patterns in the sky like hearts or happy faces. We can do those as well. So it just depends on what the music calls for uh, in that particular part of the show that we you know, match the fireworks to the music. I started working on this show about two and a half, three months ago. This show is synchronized to music. There's a special firing computer uh, that's designed just for fireworks. And that firing computer is getting a time code signal from the soundboard that's playing all that music back there. And so they'll play the music for the fireworks show and there's a time code on the same track that they're playing. That time code is sent down here. The firing board locks onto that time code and that's how it's synchronized. Then there's a person here, our operator, our fireworks operator, who is monitoring everything for safety, making sure everything is you know, staying where it's supposed to be and falling where it's supposed to fall. And he's holding a button. And if he lets go of that button, everything stops shooting. So he has to hold that button. It's sort of a positive action that he has to perform. It's all running by itself, but nothing happens unless he holds that button down to make sure it continues. There's a fire hydrant down there and they'll have a hose out there and they'll be, they'll be ready to respond to That's whatever. What they look like, huh? Well, this is the smaller ones. These are what we call cakes. They're multi-shot devices. You can see the tops of the tubes. When we light one of these, it'll go anywhere from 25 shots that'll fire to 300. The computer that lights it. Yeah, through these yellow wires that you see here. Now then we get into the larger things here. These are three inch, three inch shells. So you can see there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. All the way down here. And, and they're stored in uh, a facility that's actually up in central California, in Tracy, California, where all the... So up in the side of one of the mountains, there's a it's an old government facility uh, that stores all these fireworks. These big ones? These are what we call our finale chains. At the end of the show, you know, when there's a whole bunch of fireworks right. shooting all at once, that's these. Okay. We can light one of these, and there's a, this chain will burn at like 100 inches a second. This one, you light this, and you know, boom, 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 boom. You get 10 of them to shoot. My opinion is that they're two different things. It's just like people said, well, television was going to make radio obsolete. You know, I don't think so. They're two different things. They each have their place. Uh, they each have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, when they're used in conjunction, you can do something really unique. Uh, but I don't think one's going to, you know, completely replace the other. It's just a matter of you know, uh, just the sensory stimulation. I mean, people love it. I, I, you can make people laugh, you can make them cry, you can take them back to their childhood. And we just try to evoke those kinds of feelings and emotions with the music we choose. 
And then we add fireworks to sort of heighten those feelings. That's, that's how we do it.